Minister, there's modelling coming out tomorrow, modelling by the Australia Institute. And it's found out that your plans to reduce the top marginal tax rate to 30% will deliver $77 billion in tax cuts to people already earning more than $180,000 a year over the next decade. Why do people on such high incomes need such a large tax cut? That's oh. quite a staggering figure, $77 billion. Oh. Well, well, Patricia, the Australia Institute is basically the research tank of choice for GetUp. So let's park uh, No, no, no. Views. Do you contest let's, that figure, $77 uh, billion? I, 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 I've not seen the Australia Institute research and, and frankly, I, I discount it given the bias source that it comes from. The figures what are the I figures, I think is Minister. important for Australians to understand is the divergence in terms of the tax policies of the Liberal and National Parties versus the Labor Party kicks in at $45,000. So Labor seems to think uh, that if you're earning more than $45,000, uh, you ought to be paying more tax in the future relative to what we believe. And so we have made it very clear that we will deliver significant lift, first and foremost this year, more than $1,000 uh, for many families uh, by addressing the low and middle income tax offset. Then we want to fix bracket creep. And we're going to fix bracket creep, firstly by abolishing the 37 cent in the dollar tax bracket. Okay. And then we're going to go further by taking the 32 and a half yeah, cent but I asked you tax about bracket, whether reducing seven... that down to 30 cents and increasing the threshold up to $45,000 so... wage earners, which means the vast majority of Australian families and Australian workers will never pay more than 30 cents in the dollar in seven... tax. So is High income earners will still pay a lot more. Dollars, is $77 billion in tax cuts going to people earning over $180,000? So high income earners, uh, those top those top income earners will still pay around 60% sure. of income tax And will receipts. they get back $77 they will billion? They will pay dollars. the vast majority of income tax. What we want to ensure is that those middle income earners, whether you're a nurse or a teacher or a tradie, uh, that you are not paying more than 30 cents in the dollar on your tax. Okay, so I know you that's your whole tax plan. Extra shift Simon and get Birmingham. pushed up into yeah, a higher rate. That's your entire tax plan. But $77 that's a very billion. Dollars, tax plan for 70, those Australians. People can decide and vote. 18th of May, we all know. $77 billion no, in going to three, people over 187 $187 billion dollars in extra taxes. Going to, uh, I'm Bill asking Shorten you about to your policy, not Bill from, Shorten's. No, well, the election is a choice. $77 billion dollars going to people over $180,000. Do you think that's a, fair? That's my question. The, Do you think that's fair? I think it is very fair that workers earning $45,000 deserve a tax break. I think it's very fair that those who choose to work an extra shift, work an extra day, take on an extra job, ought to keep their earnings rather than be pushed up into a higher tax bracket. And is it fair I think for people over $180,000 to get $77 billion dollars? That's what our tax reforms do. That's what our tax reforms do. And those on the highest incomes will continue to pay the vast majority of income tax in this country. Sure, but do you accept uh, be, that they're also no about to get $77 regard, billion dollars back? Uh, Patricia, the proportion of support in terms of relative incomes and what people pay in their tax well and truly is weighted towards supporting middle income earners under our changes. And many of those middle income earners, if they're also trying to save for their retirement, will be a damn sight better off as well under the coalition because they won't face extra taxes on their superannuation, they won't face extra taxes on investment properties, they won't face extra taxes when they try to get ahead in life a little bit. There'll be better job security for them because we'll have a stronger economy that won't be being taxed. I mean, the reality is that with $387 billion of higher taxes under the Labor Party, many Australians will have fewer dollars in their pockets when they walk into a local shop to be able to spend. doesn't but matter whether they're a retiree or a worker earners, or elsewhere. According to this modelling, these higher income earners will pay a lower overall percentage of the total tax take well, as I a result accept, of your reforms. I don't accept the Labor Greens get up modelling agency of choice uh, when it comes to the way they do their economic analysis. Uh, what we've been very clear about, and I think you know, what is really very important for Australians to focus in on, is that ordinary income earners, ordinary income earners, you know, NatSem found your yeah, average wage earner in Australia uh, would be $1,000 a year worse off under Labor's income tax policies. That's before you take into account the retiree tax, the housing tax, the higher electricity prices, the higher motor vehicle prices that would come under the Labor Party. Right. So the choice is there. If Australians want lower tax and more in their pockets for working hard and for 
ordinary Australians right. just going about think, their daily business I I just want and to they're going to find it much better off under the Liberal National the Party. The Prime Minister originally said the low and middle income tax offsets wouldn't have to be legislated, but it turns out they do have to be legislated. That's a significant blunder, isn't it? Well, Patricia, there's plenty of time to make sure that we put in place the tax measures that we're taking to this election uh, and we are very confident that uh, if we're elected, we'll have a clear mandate. There's no doubt about the disparate tax policies between the Liberal and Labor parties. Uh, people vote Liberal National, they'll get lower taxes, and I trust the Parliament will support the swift legislation uh, of our tax package because and plans. Because you can't do it administratively, can you? Well, Patricia, what we want to do is see our entire tax package implemented. That's what we're taking to this election. That's what we will take to the Parliament as quickly as we can after this election to make sure we deliver on our promise to the Australian people. You know, six years ago, we promised the Australian people a stronger economy, a balanced budget, more jobs to ensure we had secure borders, and we've delivered on all of those things. This election, we're taking to the Australian people a strong economy, more jobs, 1.25 million more jobs over the next few years, lower taxes, we will deliver... I put to you the Australia Institute, which you may dismiss, but they've modelled this. They say you're giving $77 billion in tax cuts to those earning more than $180,000 a year. Does that sound about right? No, I, I don't accept that figure. I mean, the truth is that under uh, Labor's policy settings, uh, from 22, 23 onwards, uh, well, uh, from 22, 23 onwards, anyone earning more than $45,000 will end up paying more tax. And that, of course, that gap continues to increase from 24, 25 onwards. But, I mean, you, you don't... I mean, the, the most important point here is this. Under our tax system, under our plan, the top 20% of Australian income earners will continue to pay... 60% of all income tax revenue generated in Australia, as they are now. Yeah, let's switch focus on that. The election battle of the taxes has begun and there's a stark difference between what's being offered by the two major parties. That means tax is shaping up as a key election battleground. The Coalition says Labor will recklessly increase taxes and spending. Labor says Coalition policies fundamentally unfair and fiscally irresponsible. Treasurer Josh Frydenberg is the man in charge of convincing voters the Coalition is on the right track when it comes to tax. He joins us now from Melbourne. Treasurer, good morning to you. Chris Bowen says morning, Labor Coach. does not support the second and third stages of your tax plan because it means a nurse will pay the same marginal tax rate as a surgeon and that's unfair. Well, as you know, we're creating a large tax bracket from 45000 to 200000 where 94% of taxpayers will pay no more than 30 cents in the dollar. And the whole purpose of that is to create a simpler and better tax system so that people aren't caught by yeah. bracket creep. Um, so that Chris is Bowen's the reality. Right. We've maintained the progressive... No, he's not. Uh, because what he's doing is he's confusing the, the marginal uh, tax rate with the eff effective tax rate. And most of the people who are earning, let's say, $50,000 are not paying 30 cents in the dollar. They'll actually be paying a much lower amount, let's say, like 19 cents in the dollar. What we have done as a coalition is in, in put record spending in hospitals and schools and on roads and at the same time lowering people's taxes. Okay. We want people to earn more and to keep more of what they earn. All right. The Australia Institute claims the top 10% of taxpayers will get $77 billion in tax cuts under your plan. That's a lot of money for the top well, end. And it's, and it's just wrong and it's a furphy and I can say to you um, that neither in last year's budget, Koshi, or in this year's budget, did we increase or change the rate of tax uh, for the top income earners. What we are focused on is the low and the middle income earners. Independent NATSEM economic modelling shows that the average full-time earner in Australia will be about $1,000 a year or more better off under us than they would be under the Labor Party. What we have done is both immediate tax reform which put $1,080 into the pocket of hard-working Australians earning up to $126,000 a year and at the same time long-term structural reform to get a fairer system as well as all the support we've given for the small business owners who are listening to your program, the cafe owners, uh, the people who are running the nursery, um, the tradies. They're all going to benefit from the instant asset write-off in our budget as yep. well. All right. Treasurer, thanks for your time.